New tonight, we are learning masked robbers who stole thousands of dollars worth of merchandise at the Tanger Mall Outlet Mall last week are from South America. Seven suspects are behind bars tonight. Fox 10's Lindsay Regis joins us now with the latest details in the case. John and Christina, this happened a Thursday afternoon. A group of men broke into a UPS truck, stole merchandise, loaded their van, then took off. Now traffic cameras were able to locate them. Take a look. It's like all guys, like, that's how they all have, have, have hats on, they all hoodies on, they all have masks, but no license plate. A witness captured the moment a group of masked men broke into a UPS truck parked in the loading zone at Tanger Outlets. Glendale police say the suspects used burglary tools and stole several boxes of new merchandise from multiple stores. Once their van was loaded, they drove off. Traffic cameras were used to track the van with no license plate as it traveled on the Loop 101 to travel south. Can you stop nine? Every side the van jumped and started running. Police were able to arrest seven of the suspects. All but one admitted to stealing the packages and fleeing from police on foot. In the van, we were able to find 28 packages of merchandise belonging to multiple stores from the outlet malls, alongside with multiple high-end uh, burglary tools. Yeah, these seven suspects face multiple charges. Their bonds are set at $50,000 each. Reporting live, Lindsay Regis, Fox 10 News. A 20-year-old man has now been charged for being drunk behind the wheel and hitting and killing a mom near New River. The Maricopa County Sheriff today said they have proof he was drinking underage at several establishments throughout the night before the crash. Steve Nielsen live with more on what the evidence shows. What's the connection to law enforcement here, Steve? Uh, yeah, well, it turns out that the person who turned himself in, a 20-year-old man here on manslaughter charges, his father is actually the law enforcement officer that the car was registered to. That's where that connection came in. There has been a lot of evidence over the last several weeks for police and the sheriff's office to go through here. They have interviewed a lot of people. They have a lot of video evidence they've gone through, and they say that this case is still far from over. Every day, the memorial on 7th Ave and Cloud grows. The people leaving the flowers seeking justice. And now, the man authorities believe is responsible is charged. 20-year-old Jacob Moore. He turned himself in after a grand jury returned an arrest warrant for him. It's a comprehensive investigation, and I tell you that the staff worked day in, day out to bring conclusion and closure. Lisa Mancuso, a mother and wife, was jogging the morning of February 24th when detectives say this truck hit and killed her. The driver fled, but the sheriff's office later said the truck was registered to a law enforcement officer. The officer called authorities later that day to say he believed it was his truck involved. Tuesday, we learned the sheriff's office says they have video evidence the officer's son, Jacob, was behind the wheel and had been drinking all night, ending his night at a local cafe. We ordered a screwdriver, which contained two shots of vodka. Um, he drank that. He actually ordered another one, but according to um, the bartender, she did not put the um, vodka in that one because she felt that the defendant uh, was impaired. The sheriff says they'll be looking at the businesses that served him while underage. I can tell you that we have a very good partnership with the liquor board, and certainly we will work with the liquor board. I know those are the type of things that uh, liquor control will definitely follow up on. The attorney for the 20-year-old argued for a reduced bond. He has absolutely no criminal history, no felony, no misdemeanor, no prior arrest, no prior failure to appear. Moore's attorney telling the judge what he thought of the prosecution's case. It appears that it's a circumstantial case. It might be an opinion of somebody's. What we have is a tragic incident that occurred where alcohol we know was involved, where obviously lots of alcohol was involved and a person died as a result of that. Moore's bail was set at $200,000 secured release. His charges are manslaughter and hit and run death resulting. If he does post bail, he'll have to wear an ankle monitor and he won't be allowed to drink. Reporting live, Steve Nielsen, Fox 10 News. A recent drug bust in Peoria where the drug dealer gets high on the drugs he was supposed to sell. Police say they found a man passed out in a stolen car along with 100 grams of cocaine, 200 fentanyl pills, 39 grams of meth, 26 grams of heroin, 9 ecstasy pills and a gun.
We begin with Fox 10 News alert out of Phoenix, where police are on the scene of a triple shooting. One person is dead, two others injured. This happened near 45th Avenue in Thomas tonight, and Fox 10's photojournalist Rick Davis is live on the scene. He joins us there now with what we know so far. Rick, what have you heard? Yeah, right now the, the details are very limited. Uh, three people shot, one deceased here at the scene. We're right at 43rd Avenue in Thomas. Phoenix police now, they're focusing on this apartment complex and it's still quite active. Uh, since I've been here, I've seen several members from their SAU team come back to this area as they start this investigation. So it's still going on. It's still very volatile here. Yeah, Rick, kind of describe the area for us. There isn't an uh, Arrowhead shopping area near here. Uh, we're, we're in the Maryville area, uh, Christine. We're, we're right at 45th Avenue in between Thomas and Virginia. Okay. This is a rather large apartment complex that's been there for a while. And like I said, uh, they are actively looking for someone in this area, as you see the, and we won't show their location, mm -hmm. but the SWAT team has come back out here and they have their shields out and all their tactical uniforms as they try and figure out uh, and put an end to this whole situation with one person dead. A total of three shot. Uh, Rick, do we know, do we think that this is domestic related or something else? Yeah, I think it's too early right now, John. Uh, police right now, they're still trying to deal with getting everybody in custody or detained and, and determine what the circumstances are. But uh, I can tell you, it's very active out here. Uh, a lot of uh, police and a lot of tactical gear. Yeah, before we let you go, Rick, it, it looks like this area is shut down for sure. Do you know if any of the major roads in this area are kind of shut down while they continue the search, or is it kind of central to this location? Well, uh, when I first came here, uh, they had parts of Thomas shut down at 45th Avenue, and I'm actually looking north that way, and there's still crime tape down there. We haven't been to that area just yet. Okay, Rick Davis on the scene. Rick, as you learn more, we'll certainly get back to you. Thank you. We begin with a Fox Sun News alert, a deadly shooting by Maricopa County Sheriff's deputies overnight. You're looking at Sky Fox over the scene. It's happened around 3 o'clock this morning near Ellsworth and University. What we're being told is that SWAT teams were serving a high-risk search warrant. They were looking for a suspect believed to be armed and dangerous. Deputies say the suspect shot at them, then barricaded himself inside one of these mobile homes. He then came out with a rifle and confronted three members of the SWAT team. That's when they shot and killed him. Now, no deputies were hurt. The suspect's name has not yet been released, but this is a late-breaking story. We'll have more information on later editions of Fox 10 News.